Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I want to show you the Glacial Tech UFO 51. It's basically a silent CPU cooler, but it looks like a UFO coming out of space here, landing on planet Earth. Look at the box. Now on the bottom it's got the i7, of course the Intel Core i7 CPU support that it has. And let's take a look closer here on the side of the box. It's got all the information that we need in specs. So let's look at it. Now, with regards to supporting CPU, yes, it supports all the latest types of CPU. So your Core 2 Duos, your Quad Cores, and here's a list of Intel CPUs on the side of the box that it supports with all the wattages. So you know you're covered with this uh, cooler. Now from the AMD side, here's all the different types of AMD processors that it also supports up to 140 watts, as you can see. So not bad at all. And I'm gonna put it to the test here with the Phenom 2. Now, it, the dimensions, it's actually not that large, so it's pretty good. It comes with two fans, actually, that are sandwiching the middle. They're 95 millimeters, 1600 RPM, 19 decibels only of noise, and uh, it's only 780 80, um, grams, so it's pretty light, small and light. Good looks, too. Let's take a look here at uh, the kit. It comes with some uh, thermal grease with it. Okay, so you don't have to go out and get any, but uh, has also the Allen key and screws and the retention brackets for the different types of CPUs that you might want. And uh, here's the uh, Intel Core i7 bracket, so your socket 1366. Here's the uh, overall kit of everything that it comes with. Comes of course with the Intel 775 bracket support, so you, if you have one of those sockets then uh, obviously you're going to be able to install this cooler on it. And in my case uh, I've got the uh, AM3 uh, CPU, so I'll be able to use the socket uh, kit here for the AM2, which applies to the AM3 as well, and uh, install that. So um, that's pretty good. And uh, all the instructions on how to install it are included, of course, in the manual. So you've got the manual here, and it has step-by-step uh, -step instructions and uh, tells you exactly what you need in order to install it. So you're you're good there. Now let's take a look uh, uh, on the side here. You see the gold and chrome plated. Uh, look and feel to it so it's a pretty um, attractive looking um, cooler not bad design right it's sturdy it's uh, looks of quality right it doesn't look cheap at all it's got the three pin uh, CPU fan connector of course coming out of there that's shielded and um, four copper heat pipes that are uh, again plated with that chrome look so everything is chrome you don't really see the copper but it is copper right so the base that nice shiny Chrome looking uh, base, uh, very smooth is copper, so um, don't worry about that. Uh, there's going to be a good heat transfer going on there from your uh, CPU into this uh, cooler. Now, um, the uh, fans, like I said, 95 uh, millimeter, they're not LED fans, but uh, they're very quiet, and that's the whole point of this. It's almost like a stealth looking uh, spaceship that just uh, cools off your CPU so it's a pretty uh, cool looking um, cooler I guess for your gaming rig if you're looking for that and let's go ahead and install it here so um, I'm gonna use the, the screws here the Allen key and the AM2 kit that it has to install it on the uh, Jetway uh, AM3 motherboard that I've got I'm gonna use my own uh, thermal grease I could use the one that comes with the kit but I'll use the Tunic TX-2 and that's the one that I've been using on all of my test systems and gaming rigs so uh, I would recommend that and um, when you install it just put a piece size don't put too much and just spread it out a little bit right so that way you know you're covering a larger surface once you put the uh, CPU cooler on top of course it's gonna sandwich that and spread it out even more but I like to kind of uh, prepare it a little bit ahead of time and then I'll put in the um, the brackets screw that onto the motherboard of course with what it came with and then uh, position it uh, the way you want. So you can have it facing this way, right? Or you can turn it around and have it facing the other way. So you don't want your RAM to hit the pipes, right? So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. So when you install it, you want the pipes to be on the other side so that way it doesn't um, hit the RAM and you can uh, put in something uh, in there. So uh, once you've fastened that on with the screws, then you just plug in the um, three pin fan connector for your CPU and uh, that's it then um, install it on your motherboard okay so that's what we're gonna do here and I've already installed it on my motherboard and also put in some RAM so you can see uh, how much room is actually left 
So I've got some Patriot Viper RAM DDR2, pretty high, and uh, this one here doesn't touch the cooler. So you can see that there's plenty of space there to put in some uh, some uh, RAM for your gaming rig. And um, let's switch it on. Okay, so when I turn it on, there it is, very quiet, 19 uh, decibels, and um, and like I said, it looks pretty good, right? So um, on this test system that I've got here, the uh, Phenom 2, I've got it overclocked, 3.1 gigahertz, 1.45 volts. At no load, I'm getting about 32 degrees Celsius. So all of my readings are in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. You'll have to convert it. And um, on max load, if I run Prime 95 for a while, it won't go uh, above 50 degrees Celsius, roughly. Those are the readings that I'm getting here using the... Um, CPU uh, core temp um, tool that I've got 0.995 is what I'm using here and you can see that 100% uh, load which you probably won't be running all four cores 100% anyways right uh, so definitely it's doing a great job in cooling down an overclocked uh, high powered and demanding processor so I definitely recommend it and I'd like to thank Glacial Tech for providing this for review and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching